Okay. Yes, guys, can you see the question? What is uh, what is macroeconomics? Yes, here I'm getting some yes. answers. Yes, I already see it, teacher. Thank okay, you. one answer, studies the branch of the economy as a whole. Well, this looks like a copy paste with, with this word economy, and I mentioned before, seems to me even to you, that when you're talking about the science, we don't grab the word economy. In English, it's economics. When you're talking about the economy of one country, yes, you're using the word, the economy, yeah, the Mexican economy. Branch of the economy that studies the economy in a more bigger scale. And economy at large scale. Again, the same mistake is in the world. Overall economies, well, this also doesn't make so much sense. Um, overall economies could be something that is close to international economies. And therefore, it's right. Sometimes we are talking about open macroeconomics. The study of behavior of national economies. Actually, this is interesting, yeah? Uh, I hope to not forget about it. And I will mention that because preparing your class, I was reading my textbook in, in Russian language. And the authors of this book remind me that many times when we're talking about macroeconomics, actually we're talking about how to, to manage our country. Yeah. Uh, a funny guy, Elvis Presley. Yeah. It's the bigger uh, picture of the economics. Well, it's also a, a nice definition. Yeah, a, a, a bigger picture could be. The study of economies with bigger scales like the government, macroeconomics study of the behavior of countries or large groups of countries. Well, not far away. Yeah, not far away, but it's still. Okay. I had 19 students. Please, guys, do it. Everybody do it, please. Let me see it later. I would like to see what is your answer to this question. The study of economic behaviors and the market. Well, this is closer to micro than to macroeconomics, in my opinion, is akin of a parameter that each country used to analyze the economic environment and how this affects in different sectors. And we will see that from the very beginning, we will be assuming that we are a close economy, just to simplify the models, the mathematical models that we'll be using here to explain the relationship between the variables, the keywords that you mentioned before, what is the relationship between this fiscal stimulus and interest rate and inflation and GDP? Yeah, it's simple to try to analyze these relationships when you are assuming that your country is close to the rest of the world, because when your country is open, when it's participating in this globalization process, well, the, the impact of one variable is more complicated to analyze. Nevertheless, obviously, we have models to explain something like that. 21 students. Uh, two guys here just cheating. Yeah, but seems to me that's a good moment to stop. And now, guys, I will be looking for you helping me uh, reading. Help me reading the, the slides, please. What is macroeconomics? Please go ahead. Macroeconomics is the study of the behavior of the economy as a whole and the policy measure that the government uses to influence it. Okay. Utilize measure including total output rates of unemployment and inflation and exchange rates. Okay, in your homework, um, uh, just, uh, sorry, let me interrupt you a little bit. In your homework for this, uh, the second homework, yeah? When I ask you to uh, update some of the macroeconomic variables that Lopez Obrador mentioned in the year 2019, some people was talking about these exchange rates. Yeah, here in, in the map of Key macroeconomic variables nobody mentioned, uh, or I did not, uh, did not see that you mentioned exchange rates. Also very important, yeah. Uh, inflation was in your map, in your map of keywords. Unemployment was not there, but actually today also unemployment is something that we are discussing a lot. And here when we're talking about total output, output here also means that we are discussing GDP. Output income in my model, in practice, empirically, when we try to measure this output, we are using GDP, gross domestic product, yeah? Here I can see that somebody copy and paste the definition, as I mentioned before. Uh, From macroeconomics, aggregates individual markets, look at the market as a whole. Mm -hmm. AD is an AS, issues include unemployment, economic growth. Okay, let me interrupt you here now. Uh, micro uh, let me interrupt you. Another typical definition, what is macroeconomics? Well, the study of the economic aggregates. What did you mean? Well, 
in microeconomics, usually we're studying the price of one good or one service, uh, analyzing individually what the company, one firm is doing, or, or a few firms, versus what the fam my family households are doing, yeah, and analyzing the price of one thing. Well, in microeconomics, I'm not analyzing the price of one good or one service. I'm not analyzing the price of Coca-Cola, right? I'm analyzing all prices, all, uh, the prices of all goods and all services in my economy. Yeah, the, uh, the, the average price level. That is what I'm doing, and therefore it's an aggregate. I am not analyzing the quantity that one particular company uh, is willing to supply. No, I am analyzing all the production of goods and services from all companies in my country. Yeah, and that is output. What is economic growth? Well, when this output, uh, when my GDP is, is changing, increasing, that is economic growth. Yeah. And this is an aggregate, an aggregating the production of all firms, all companies in my country. Therefore, macroeconomics is also the study of this uh, economic aggregates. 